Hello everyone, welcome back to Keto Blogging and in this video I will show you how you can add a translate button to your WordPress website. So if you want your audience to enjoy your content in multiple languages like if you are serving around the globe and you want your readers to change their language so that they can read the content in their language like if someone want to read in Spanish, Japanese, Korean so you can easily implement a lot of language and people will able to switch your language and read your content so let's check how this translate button works so for this we are going to use a wordpress plugin called gt translate so we can see the demo of this widget here so as you can see i have a language switch button and i can easily switch between french german italian spanish english and you can also change the widget type like as a drop down menu so let me quickly update the preview and you can see that it will show as a drop down menu like this or you can also change it like uh, plain drop down and you can also add more language suppose you want to add hindi and you want to add japanese korean so you can add the, your language and let's click on update now you can see the preview like this so if you want a globe type wizard then you can update it and you can see there is a globe type wizard and i can change the language like this so let's check how we can implement a translate button in our wordpress website so for this i will go to wordpress and i will go to the dashboard here and here i will go to plugins and i will click on add new so there are multiple plugins available here like translate press loco translate week lot but in free this plugin works the best so i will use this plugin so let's activate it once we activate the plugin you will see this option gt translate so let's click on settings and here you will see a screen like this where you can see the wizard preview here so you can see there are a lot of language here so we can select multiple language suppose i want to add telugu tamil and let's add the hindi language let's add japanese let's add kannada and let's add a bengali here and to show a floating widget like this so here user can switch between language you need to enable this option so floating language selector so let's click on here and i can choose it like bottom left bottom right so let's select bottom left and let's hit save changes now let's go to the website and let me refresh this page and as you can see that our language selector is now showing so let's change it to hindi and as you can see that our page is translated to hindi so let's choose some other language like malayalam and as you can see that the page is translated to malayalam and here you need to select your original language that is the default language of your website so if you are writing content in hindi then you have to select hindi here so by default i am writing content in english so make sure to select the default language here and you can also enable cdn option here so that it will translate the content faster and you can also show the translate button in primary menu so let me choose that and let's hit save changes let's go to the front end and let's refresh this page now let's go to the menu here let's create the first menu primary let's select it as primary let's create the menu now let me select some of the menu here all right now let's click on save changes let's go to the front end and as you can see that our translate button is showing in the menu but sometimes it cause issue so you need to fix it using css or you can change this option so let's select it as a drop down and let's check if it is working perfectly in header menu or not all right this option is working perfectly fine with header menu so if you want a floating wizard then you have to disable it from the header menu and if you want to add it to the header menu then you can select the wizard look to a different option we can also enable pop-up as well so when i click on here it will show the language in a pop-up window and user can change the language using the pop-up window so let's save changes and check how it looks so let me refresh this page 
and as you can see that is working perfectly fine so i prefer this float method so i will select float and i will uncheck this menu so i will not show the float in the menu and save changes let's go to the website and refresh this page so this looks professional and you can change the location here so here you can change from bottom left to bottom right so let's hit change save changes and let's refresh this page as you can see that it is now showing at the bottom right and you can also change it to top right let's click on save changes and let me refresh this page and as you can see that it is now showing at the top right corner so this is how you can add a translate button to your wordpress website using a simple plugin and this is completely free and you will get some premium option as well in the paid version like you can change the shop directory for the url structure or you can use a subdomain for the url structure so it is not that necessary unless you are building a multi language website it is not that necessary free version works perfectly fine all right if you have any doubt regarding this then you can ask me in the comment section and if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button and i will see you in the next one bye bye